Did you also make a video about Microsoft To Do and GTD? Microsoft it could to be do very helpful. Be for the next users. video on Lucas To Do list. Microsoft Please, to do. Can you do one for Microsoft To Do? <sighs> okay. Fine, you got me. I'll do it. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Microsoft fan in the world, especially when it comes to user experience. But by popular demand, I'm going to have a go at making Microsoft To Do work as a system for getting things done, or GTD for short. All right, so to capture, we have something that's not very intuitive by its name, but what is actually an inbox, it's just called the tasks list inside of Microsoft To Do. So this is something you're gonna to have to get used to. What this list signifies is it has anything that isn't part of another list that we can see below the line here on the left sidebar. So by nature, that's the default place you want things to land in. You can do so by adding a task from the middle bottom side here, or easily via mobile, which you will see now, and that's the task we already just saw in the tasks overview. When it comes to organizing our system, we've got a couple of pre-made lists on the left here. Now, some of these you'll recognize as the smart list that we saw in the settings such as planned or a collection of every item. But there's also something called my day. Now this is something you can basically interpret as a focus list. I personally wouldn't use it that much, but it's there and you can't remove it. So if it's useful, this is how you can do it. It also provides suggestions. Now let's look at how we have set up our list structure. The good thing about to do is that you can set up lists and you can also organize them in folders. So the first folder we created is for the more runway level, my tasks and projects. So what you will see is a standalone items list, which contains tasks that don't have multiple steps attached to them to achieve their outcome. We have a routines list, which we can use to put recurring tasks into. We have a projects list. This is just an example. So you can also add projects here. And what you will see here is the outcome is to create a YouTube video like the one you're watching now. You could say that creating a video comes with several phases. And so some of these tasks are more sequential. Instead of putting every task on its own though, I used the task here as a denominator for what's usually a section in other task managers. So here you can see, for example, the preparation section or the preparation phase. And I used subtasks to actually add the individual tasks to it that we can check off and mark complete. Once these are done, we can move on with tasks in the other sections. We have a reminders list. Speaks for itself, obviously, like the tickler file, you can add any reminder here. And to actually remind yourself, you must use the remind me functionality. You can select a pre-made time or you can pick one of your own and select the date and the time and save it. That's how you add it to the list. For some, they may be like your bucket list. You can obviously have one, but you can also use the organization here with the folder. So you can create a new group. You can give that group a name and then you can move the list under the group. And from there, you can perhaps create sub lists Many people perhaps want to have a restaurants I want to eat at list, recipes to cook, travels to make, purchases, etc. For agendas, this is basically where you store your talking points for people when you see them or when you have a meeting. So what you could do is it also use the subtask functionality here. Let's say we have a friend or a colleague named Bob. We just put his name in here and then we add these quote unquote steps to indicate your talking points. Number one, question, whatever. And then whenever we see Bob, all we have to do is search for his name. And there it is. And we can just check the lists. The higher horizons of focus you can see things like your goals. For example, uh, you saw the YouTube project. Well, that's related to a goal that you may want to hit 1000 subscribers. And you can set a due date for that task, quote unquote, that could be the deadline to reach the goal by that time. So you can get creative here and you can also add notes to any task, which is helpful. Uh, perhaps you wanna elaborate on some things, but 
it doesn't go as far as tick tick, for example, where you can actually add a note. That's something that to do doesn't really offer. However, you can still use it if you want to, for example, define your purpose. You can provide the more elaborate version of that here. Same goes for your vision or your areas of focus if you want to define those separately as well. But to work from context, instead of just having a list of all the items and trying to make sense of it all, we want to actually have a way to separate by context. And what you may have noticed me skipping earlier in the video is something we'll look at now. Because to do actually allows you to create tags and associate those with tasks. The problem though is there's no way to see a list of those tags anywhere natively like on the sidebar. However, whenever you do click on a task with a tag, it will show every item that has that tag as well. So instead, what I did here is kind of create this pseudo tag list called contexts and these items should never be checked off unless the context perhaps will be removed but from there you can just add the tag as well with the hashtag you can click on it and then we can see every item that has this tag certainly not perfect but it does get the job done so here i press laptop and you can see all the tasks related to my create a youtube video project that have this tag now this is nice and you can also star those items so you can translate the important smart list as your context list if you wish for even easier access. However, what if you have a project predefined like this one where you already knew the steps you want to take and they're sequential so you don't want every task to show up in your next actions list right away. Perhaps the production uh, phase hasn't started yet. However, there is an item there that can be done on our laptop called edit video but if we press that then we can see every item including ones that aren't due yet so what i did here is to actually create a separate tag named next and if we press that we can see an overview of every next action still not perfect because we can see different contexts within it however if you actually combine these two search queries it will show only the tasks that have both tag so let's say we've completed this item here write script for our next youtube video we can mark it complete and once we've marked it complete we have to navigate to the project it's a part of and we can see here that two out of two sub tasks have been completed which means this phase is complete we can select the next task or the next section i should say and here these are all items that we can perform from our studio which have the studio tag as well now that they're next actions, all we have to do is add the next tag to it as such. We copy it, we press enter. We do the same thing for these tasks. And now when we do the same here in the search bar, we can see those items appear in our next actions list with the studio context. So one more time, let's look at our inbox and pretend that this task has something to do with the YouTube project and it's a task that we can perform from our laptop. So what we can do is add the laptop tag and then we can move it into a different list. We can do so by right clicking it and moving the task to any of the list that we've created or by actually dragging it into one of those like drag and drop. And there you can see now it's part of the YouTube video project and if it's a next action we can also add the next label to it and then it will show up in our next laptop list for routines you can create recurring tasks here and then selecting the repeat functionality and there you can set it to repeat any of these intervals or even a custom one which is nice so here's an example of taking out the trash i can do that from home and i just need to do it every week so when i mark it complete you can see it automatically created a new task for me to perform in seven days from if you want to use microsoft to do as your reference software as well i would say proceed with caution because there's no way to create a task that cannot be completed and this means you risk losing some valuable pieces of information such as maybe you want to put a copy of your passport here. Now it's cool that you can add a file to any task, 
which allows you to upload attachments, you know, like a PDF copy. But the fact that you can mark it complete and lose it is a significant risk. Now here, obviously, it still shows as the completed task, but you just don't want that option to even be there for something like reference. So if you want to go all in on Microsoft, perhaps you can use OneDrive or any of those other services by Microsoft, like OneNote as well, to actually store information instead of this system. If you do, just make sure to be careful. When it comes to reflecting, such as doing your weekly review, though, it's nice to be able to select and create these new lists. So you can just create one, call it weekly review, and then add any item that belongs to the review. And the fact that you can create a task, complete it, but still see it means that once you've completed your review, imagine this is a full list, you can just uncheck every item and it will show up again when the time to do your review has come. Well, I guess this shows that you always need to have an open mind because I remember telling many of you requesting me to do a video like this that it just wasn't gonna be possible. It just shows have an open mind and you can get very far. Apply some creativity, reinterpret some of the lists and then you can make Microsoft to do a decent system for GTD. Good luck if you wanna try it out. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for other software I should check out. See you in the next video.